My traumatized babies and mentally ill Barbies, the dawn is breaking on the stage that holds our final destiny. And so my traumatized babies and mentally ill Barbies, the show must go on. And apparently on today's episode, I'm looking like some weird priest up here. It's just because I have on like a ton of layers because we are deep into the Arctic freeze. So that wasn't on purpose. I am not trying to make a statement. I am just getting a readout, at least like, one general read because I think today I am going to do also a breakdown video of the first yellow transmissions because I did another read about why we got so many like being related reads and when that come out when, when that came out it had to do with the freaking yellow transmissions and what's going on there so I was just like all right, well, I gotta make this video before this read gets put out, but I really just, ugh, I don't feel like it because I have to think really hard. <laughs> I have to think really, really hard and I don't want to. Um, all right, we've got somebody working hard over here. Working hard, it looks like also relaxing. Good, we've got a good balance here under the deck, but we have somebody at least like Putting in some major effort into a manifestation combined with like an equal amount of non-action or resting and then also planning and then working again. There's just really good balance here. There's just a really good balance of energy for someone to be able to manifest successfully here. And this is, of course, I have selected a player character from the player character deck because in the Sovereign Age, no one is an NPC. We are all player characters. And the player character is sometimes the collective, sometimes it is not. It tends to represent um, the most active energy in the read. Sometimes that's the collective, sometimes it's not. Um, sometimes it's somebody acting on or around the collective. What's going on? Are you seeing a bug? Who is that? Estasa. Are there bugs, Dasa? There shouldn't be. Not in this weather. Um, all right, well, that's a decent amount of Pantha. Someone's attempting to manifest something with this gift. Um, and I don't know if it's been like a process. Like this person might have been, no, 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 no. This is not someone working in a group. This is someone like working by themselves. This is someone working in silence with this mask and friendship. It's like somebody has been working on something that they haven't been telling their friends or their associates or whatever because they wanted to get like eat ready enough because like if you speak about it too soon, right? Like you're gonna have conflict. They didn't want that. They wanted to be absolutely prepared. And now whatever this is, is coming to like the final stages to where it's like, it's either manifested, it's manifesting, or this person is pretty darn sure that is going, it's going to manifest like without a hitch this time. Cause I think this person has been through like a fairly extensive process with, with whatever this is where they made accidents in their manifestation process, they had to take a break. And then it was like, in the break time, they were living and learning and then going back to the drawing board. So this isn't something, um, light. This is probably some sort of major manifestation that would have um, a pretty profound effect on someone's life. And the process itself, going through the process itself, that learning process within manifestation would have altered this person. And there it is, manifesting. And yes, they're kind of locked in right now, I'm pretty sure. Like, I don't know that they particularly need to do any more serious effort they might be able to be in a position where they don't have to do that. But we'll see. All right, let me move some of this stuff over here. Okay, yeah, we're like in the locked in period. Wait, wait, like wait and yes. Big happy changes. Like whatever this person has been doing, if it's y'all, like, like, cause that came out in another read as well about something that like y'all have been working on that you're gonna have some success on. You're like essentially locked into this right now. So you can like take a rest. 
the big happy changes are coming. And this is also reconsider, ask for help from others. Like, don't talk, like whatever this is, like there is something about not talking about this yet because there's something better is like something, um, that's whatever that like initial success is. Yeah, it's just like this initial success. I've got forgiveness, take action and success. Um, the forgiveness, take action is like, let go of action. Let go of action and overwork success in the near future. Yeah. Okay. And then I had listened to your intuition under that. It's just sort of like, pay attention to the energy. Pay attention to the energy. If this sounds correct for you, check the energy. If it feels correct, then go ahead with it. Success. <sighs> Okay, what do we have under here? Yep, this has been a long transformative process. Whatever the distant horizons main male coffin pathway, distant horizons in this case is not something in the future, it's just been a very long process for this person. Or y'all, okay? Um, and now it's kind of like this courthouse is kind of like it's in God's hands and we're going to get unexpected income and lovers. So this might be someone who was manifesting some sort of material in order to come into union with somebody. And it's looking like this has been a process because whatever work this person has been doing, it's flanked by like bad health and poverty or it was but now we've got great fortune and there's our gift again a mature man so we started with the main male i believe that is the same person we went from someone who is possibly in a less mature place or a younger place when they started this process now the process has taken them to a place of maturity and wisdom that's also why the manifestation can come through now like as this child child gift success this is all the same thing that is about whatever this person has successfully manifested there it is manifesting something that will very much please them nine of cups ten of cups the world Whatever this is, it's the end of this particular manifestation process and the end of some sort of major transition in someone's life. Um, some sort of major transformative process. Yeah, they've transformed into the king of pentacles. Or y'all have transformed, or will be transforming, into the king of pentacles. Death at the bottom of the deck. Okay, let's see who our player character is and what their energy is. We have the mermaid boy, and I was seeing a ton of this mermaid boy. This person is vibing and relaxing right now, but they are looking back at what they have grown, at what surrounds them. This is a little bit of um, Seven of Pentacles energy as well. So let's see the vibe that they're holding. We've got protest, care, and eternal love. Inadequacy, there is something relationship oriented on this person. Part of their manifestation has in, like does include some sort of partnership, maybe growing a family, something like that. Because the protest card, they're not like fighting about this. The word that I'm looking at here is inadequacy. This person has felt that either their um, partnership or their lack of a partnership, lack of family life or the family that they have, they were lacking like that care and eternal love. So that is part of this manifestation process for this person or y'all. Oh, look at that. <laughs> wow, okay. So we have look for a sign and change. Okay, so this is going to be coming in like some sort of Sign of the results of this person's manifestation is coming in. And what we have with that is the hanged man and the eight of wands. There is our sign. There is our sign that we are looking for. And it is the, the energy returning to this person, the feedback that they're getting in the material world from the changes that they have made to themselves, changing the energy that they are putting out. 
I'm so sorry if there's like lots of sniffles in this read, y'all. It's just very, very cold, and so I'm sniffly. And we have Improving Health and Thief. With that, I have this Nine of Pentacles, Two of Coins. It is possible that part of this person's or y'all's process is learning like who not to give to. Like, who are you giving your energy to? Who are you giving your time and attention to? Who are you giving money or material to? Um, it's possible that like, you know, we had some energies that should not have been entertained here. People or situations. So now we have, if you believe with the family room, we said like part of this person's manifestation is something about relationship life, home life, family life, judgment. If you believe family room judgment. Um, for some reason, I'm getting a wake up call on that. That's how that judgment is coming across, wake up call. This also might be that sign, like here's your sign that this thing is like coming in. But let's go ahead and get some details. So we will start with look for a sign, change, eight of wands, the hanged man. So we will see what y'all or this person is going to see. What is that sign? What is that eight of wands? Oh. Ugh. I've got a page of cups, a queen of swords, and an ace. This is looking to me at the moment, I was thinking when I saw that queen of swords and ace of swords, there somebody's gonna tell this person something, but I don't quite know what that page of cups is. It could be the same message. Somebody's gonna give somebody a message and it's gonna be a truthful message. That's going to be this person's sign. They're going to see something or hear something. Hierophant on that page of cups. This could be like somebody uh, hearing something in church. Um, like they're going to hear a particular like sermon. That could even be somebody getting on YouTube and then like all of a sudden in the algorithm. And I know I'm like referencing someone that I don't like. But all of a sudden like a Joel Olstein sermon comes up and like it has a title that's interesting. So someone like clicks on it. And for because here's the thing. Even though there are people I disagree with and I think ultimately everything that they're doing is like bad and greedy and whatever, that doesn't mean that Joel Olstein can't deliver a message for somebody that somebody needs to hear. That's just kind of the nature of it. So this could be something like that. Like somebody might like see some sort of like evangelical preacher like appear on their YouTube feed and for some reason they click on it and then that's how they get their sign. Three of Swords on this Queen of Swords, this could be something that either hurts the person to say or they're saying something about something painful, the message is about something painful, or it in fact hurts this person to hear. Three of Cups. This is something about like, whatever that message is, this is something about kind of how you cannot, if you put yourself in a position where you are trying to stop yourself from feeling pain, you will also stop yourself from feeling joy or happiness. And you're more likely to get involved in cycles of like um, anesthetizing yourself with experiences like um, getting drunk or not all of them, by the way, like you can be like drunk or high and still be in a state of fulfillment. I'm just saying it's not a cycle. It's not um, like an addiction or like, People who are using substances like I'm saying in joyful ways or just as like a fun experience every now and again, um, they are not using that substance as like a coping mechanism. Um, they're not using the substance to like distract themselves. They're just having a good time and then they're getting on with their life. In the words of Cher Horowitz, um, it's one thing to spark up a doobie and get laced at parties. It is quite another to be fried all the time. Can't disagree. 
Though I don't think that this necessarily pertains to like substances at all. I'm just saying it likely has something to do with how like in order to experience joy, you must also accept that you will be experiencing pain. The Seven of Pentacles. This is something about a harvest. I'm also getting this is potentially someone who tends to preach like prosperity gospel or it's somebody within that like realm of manifestation potentially. Like they're in that kind of prosperity gospel-esque message of like new thought and manifestation but you can still receive truths like somebody literally they might have like abraham hicks like pop up on their timeline one of those old um one of those old recordings that like get re-disseminated over and over and over again and we have the star is something about healing healing pain experiencing joy and what it means to block that out And then Four of Swords, coming to peace with whatever this is. So this is something, ultimately, I don't know that this person is going to want to hear, but they will hear it and they will ultimately come to peace with it. I might get some more on that, like, later. Like, what it is that they're coming to peace with, I'm not sure. Um, but let's go ahead and move on to Thief, Improving Health, the Nine of Coins, and the Two of Coins. All right, what's up? Oh, the Emperor. The Emperor and the Nine of Swords. I'm telling you, this Nine of Pentacles person is potentially this Emperor and the Nine of Swords is like looking at how you and how you were handling like your material situation led to like some sort of nightmare scenarios or like stress that you didn't need or they didn't need. A Ten of Wands. How they created this by engaging with certain things over and over and over again. Three of it's it's the people or situations that this person was surrounding themselves with. What's that three of pentacles? Well, we have the Queen of Wands. And you know what I have to say about that? Potentially. Let me pull another on our Queen of Wands here, three of pentacles. It's the Nine of Pentacles. This this Nine of Pentacles is not this Emperor. Um, uh, wait, can you tell me more about the nature? Because I don't know who's the thief here. Wait a minute. Ace of Wands, that's potential dick weight. Like, hold on, I don't, I don't want to be... Because I've got prejudices on some of these cards now. I could be being prejudicial. That is not necessarily... I'm trying to determine who's the emperor and who's the thief. The king of pentacles. This is, um, the king of pentacles is that emperor. So I think that who, that, that's probably a dick witch. Okay, our emperor has the sun. The emperor king of pentacles is the person who's getting clarity. That queen of wands is a dick witch. Okay, they're a very attractive, like, bougie dickwitch. Dickwitch nonetheless. Okay, so let me pull, what did this, um, what did this dickwitch do over here that this person, like, had to see or get clarity on? Because whatever it is, it is that, that nine of swords, ten of pentacles. So that's what I'm getting clarity on. That nine of swords, ten of pentacles. Well, ten, ten of wands. I'm sorry, but I did pull the ten of pentacles. It is something about... Whatever this is, it's a way that this person was dealing with like their money in some aspect of this. This emperor, whoever that king of pentacles emperor is, they are also showing up as the king of swords. They had that king of swords. I got ten of pentacles, king of swords, world, two of wands. This person, the emperor, king of pentacles, had to establish better boundaries as that king of swords about their money, their resources, and likely their own person. And that's that world cycle. They have successfully done this. And now they're like headed in some sort of different direction. That is the change. Um, and we're not getting dirty details here. So I'm not going to delve into it. Because like I said, that only has to come out when it's necessary for alignments on the read. And it's likely this person, I think, because like this change, look for a shine thing here. 
this could technically be a past position since it was the first column in the, the read. This could potentially be like more present-ish energy for this person. It's possible they already saw the sign and they already received their message and the painful message that they heard was sort of about their situation. So this could be tied into that message about like the powerful psychic told this man, man something and they listened. That's potentially tied into like that narrative of whatever went on there. So if you are not this King of Pentacles Emperor, you are possibly this like Queen of Swords over here that maybe gave the messages. Um, but it could be either or. I don't like, I typically, I've only had a message. I've only talked to like one sort of like, it wasn't a dick witch, but it was definitely like a woman. It came across to me as a woman that was cheating on her partner or had some time in the past. So I have talked to that sort of energy before. I've never felt like I've talked to an actual dick witch or had a message for a dick witch. We report on dick witch activity, but thus far, I don't know that there are any dick witches in the collective. If there are, I would prefer it to be a spec ops dick witch, if y'all are here. But I mean, spec ops dick witches are typically on their shit and they don't really need messages. They're already kind of in alignment with their dick witchery. And they're like, they accept it. That is their truth and they're fine with it. They're fine at that like vibration, if that's how you want to talk about it. Um, and they're not looking to come out of it. It's like the weird slot, like, like the dick witches that shouldn't be dick witches that end up needing reads and stuff like that because that's simply not their purpose here on this earth. Um, this judgment. Um, oh, judgment failure room, if you believe. So this king of wands now, like this person showed, the, this person is transitioning out of this. So this person has had their wake up call and, um, it, like they're transitioning out of whatever their former situation was. Um, Six of Swords, King of Wands, Eight of Cups. And that King of Wands energy, it's possible they were predominantly in that energy um, when they were dealing with this. It's like they weren't in the Emperor um, too much. If they were dealing with like a bougie dick witch who's being represented by the Nine of Pentacles twice, this person would have at least had to have been in the king of wands king of pentacles because they would have had to have been manipulated by their own sexual energy and they would have had to have had material to provide to the witch that's how that works so this person would have been not at all in king of cups or king of swords those were the energies that they needed to learn about and integrate into themselves to successfully become that um good version of the emperor right so this person um, when they say they're leaving behind or transitioning out of the King of Wands, it's like that predominant energy. Like they've learned what happens when you're only in King of Wands, King of Pentacles, um, depending on how those kings are operating. Because King of Wands, King of Pentacles, like in better energy is just like a visionary business person or businessman. But that King of Wands is somebody who is easily like sexually manipulated. That's what that is. Um, though this person might have had the good qualities as well, they were also operating predominantly in the more negative aspect. And also possibly, unbeknownst to themselves in that King of Pentacles, um, getting into very, very transactional relationships unconsciously. Like this person wouldn't have been in situations where they were like, oh, I want, like, I want a gold digger or I want a sugar baby, that is what I want. This would have been the type of person who would have been sitting in a place was, oh, all women are gold diggers for some reason. I just, like, those, that's just who they are because that's all they're choosing. To, that's all, like, it's not the only person they're attracting, but it's, that is the person who they're going to or the person who will be willing to engage with them due to how they're operating. Like, because somebody who wants a different type of relationship experience is going to be, like, turned off by someone who's in that, king of wands, king of pentacles stuff, because it's shallow and transactional. So the only people who are gonna wanna seriously engage with that person long-term are other people who are shallow and transactional. So that person had to learn that. And why, no, it's not like all people or all women, it's you. It's you, or at least it is partly you, okay? It's partly you.
Page of Swords. Um, hold on, what's that Page of Swords? Wheel of Fortune. So this person, as they are transitioning away from whatever situation they've been in, they're kind of guarding their back. Um, like this person seems to have gotten at least like somewhat burned by if it was one person they were dealing with long term or kind of multiple relationships that they were dealing with where they repeated the same pattern over and over. They got somewhat burned by this. So now they're kind of like, as they're moving away from it, they have some trust issues here as they move on with like a better part of their life. Knight of Pentacles, this person, like it's a slow thing. And I get like this person, at least at some point, during this process with themselves, they took some kind of financial hit here in dealing with these people. Hermit, death, five of pentacles, nine of wands, five of wands. They dealt with some sort of financial stress or business stress dealing with this. And the justice, but like even though this has been a slow process, this is a very successful process for this person and it is speeding up. Um, like I said, this person's pretty much, they have done enough work on their own that they are like locked into some sort of flow state now and they are at least going to have some positive manifestation from everything that they've been doing thus far. Page of Pentacles, yeah, there it is. Um, as this person continues to Eight of Cups, Six of Swords, the Page of Pentacles is going to come in to meet them. So that's some sort of material result from what they've been doing. I'm seeing this Queen of Pentacles chariot. Um, they might actually meet an actually compatible partner to them. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, somebody who's matching their energy now. A better partner. The Fool, yeah, it's just like, it's better energy. It's better energy, so let me go ahead and clear all of this off. Um, so let me see, because I'm not sure this person could potentially just be in the collective, this Emperor King of Pentacles. So we will see. Why is this information relevant for the collective? I should just say, like since we're still in phase one of like the mega happy timeline and we likely will be for like most, if not all of this year, a lot of these reads are about people who are um, moving into position to come into union either with like partners or new groups of people that are going to like have some sort of like help. They're gonna be working on specific things together and all of that, no. Yes, okay, that makes sense. The collective needs to know this. This is the collective's over here, this Queen of Cups. There's something about this Queen of Cups and the Six of Coins that whoever this person was, this, this likely, I'll just call them the Emperor now. That Emperor saw something or heard something or whatever that that Queen of Cups said or did or demonstrated. It's about money, about who they are giving to. They saw that and they got clarity on their situation. So we'll go around again. So either both of these individuals are in the collective or the collective is just the people who are giving messages, but it could work either way. The lovers, this is like somebody who's talking about relationships. It could be that, um, like you just talk about healthy partner dynamics. You could be someone, um, like you, like, I don't know, you could give messages any sort of way. You could be like um, a relationship therapist. You could be someone who does that sort of work professionally. You could even be like, ooh, you know what? You could be someone who educates about like financial abuse in some way, someone who speaks on that, um, someone who helps people identify it. Um, you could be, like, like I said, like, um, like a marriage counselor, a marriage therapist, or even like a pastor. You could be someone's pastor who counsels people in your church about marriages and things like that. But there's something here about deception with money specifically.
you could be straight up someone who like talks like two men it's a femme energy but that doesn't mean it's a woman you could be like someone who gives actual like i'm not saying like red pill advice but it's like if the manosphere was actually like really healthy like that's you if you're a man like that's part of your purpose is to help men like have the types of lives and partnerships and lifestyles that they want and what to guard for and look out for so they can protect themselves um, financially, even if they're not choosing to enter into any partnerships or anything. So they're not taken advantage of. So any of that could be y'all. It could like, seriously, it could come down to like someone doing a tarot reading or a channel reading and they just put it out there. And like, for whatever reason, someone got a wild hair up their ass and clicked on it and they just went, Oh, shit. Like, that could be a total atheist right there who just doesn't watch, like, tarot or anything whatsoever. But for whatever reason, they happened to click on something and it spoke to them. That doesn't mean they needed to have any sort of religious conversion. It's just, like, they needed to hear one message and they heard it. Yeah, whatever they heard or saw, like, hurt them. Like, this was hard for this person to hear, whatever it was. <laughs> whatever that message was that this person heard, it was kind of the catalyst for some sort of radical changes that this person made or is making. Something like that. Yeah, but like, okay, so despite that, Three of Swords, Tower. What we have here, Seven of Cups, this person went through like, oh my God, like when someone goes through like something like that, like a belief system crumbling or like they didn't realize something, it gets overwhelming. So they have to deal with all of those emotions, but this person did. And so as a result of them actually confronting all of this, they are now, or they will be, in the Nine of Cups, Page of Pentacles. Much happier creating the things that they actually want in the shine. Yep. This, whatever the message was, it, like, despite this pain, it brought some sort of healing to that King of Swords, and they were able to draw some boundaries in their lives, like, operating as they stopped this. They stopped whatever this more harmful aspect of the King of Wands was and went into some sort of, like, healing period for themselves. They got out negative influences in their lives and provided themselves some better structure. That could be someone, if this is more coming along the, like, someone had a word of knowledge for this person, or they heard, like, a pastor, or a preacher, or a priest, or a rabbi. This could be an instance of someone deciding that, like, you know what, a specific church, or, like, what is it, an imam for Muslim people? I don't know, I'm less familiar with that. But, like, it could have come across any of those type of ways. I'm getting that that's, like, a smaller percentage of these Ener like the people who are attached to these energies, I'm getting this more as a healthier structure for how this person wants to operate with their money and sexuality and things like that. Um, and so now they know what to look for and they can offer their cup in relationships appropriately. Whether that is looking like monogamy or whether that is looking like non-monogamy or something else, this person is still able to do this in a healthier way where they are protected and not being taken advantage of. That's why it's relevant to the collective. So it's if you are someone who gives this sort of message and information, especially if you have a small audience, that is designed to inform you that I don't care if your audience is small. Someone who needs to hear it is going to hear it, so please continue the work, you're helping people. If um, the person who is in the collective is the person who heard the message and changed their life, I think that's wonderful and I'm so happy for you, even if it was something that was painful for you to hear from whatever source you heard it from. Oh, Queen of Pentacles fell out. She needs to stay out. All right, final advice outcome, then we'll get some Jesus on it and go. Oh, like we said, there was like a... Someone was trying to manifest at least some sort of relationship, something that's going to make them a lot happier. So they might actually be doing that now. That might be part of that page of pentacles is running into a person that 
they might have potential with, or those could be like multiple candidates that are just a much better match, okay? And this person also knows how to select better and what dynamics to not engage with. Um, you know what? Uh, well, let me look at what that is. Because I'm not getting that as a specific person, that queen of pentacles. I think this person just now has like, this person now has an idea of like what a healthy queen of pentacles looks like. And they might be looking at multiple people right now who they would like to approach. I have this five of wands here, but we end up with the six of wands. So that's a positive thing. So that page of wands is just like, hey, I'm attracted to this sort of person. I want to ask them out. And this is likely multiple people that this person is being like, testing the waters with, you know? But what is, they're likely looking to see like, what is the five of wands and what is the six of wands? This case, so now this person is in also, like this person is either the emperor now or they're becoming the emperor, but because they are in this king of cups energy, they are going to better be able to avoid these conflicts. They're going to much like more easily get into the six of wands instead of getting stuck at that five of wands. Temperance. They're like, oh, what's that? Oh, they're just putting an end. This is um, this Ten of Swords and this Eight of Swords, this death. This is this, um, whatever process that this person has been through, it is now coming to a very successful conclusion. They are a much, much more better balanced um, King of Pentacles. They're very strong and they're not going <laughs> to, look, they know what to look out for. They know. They are no longer, don't be distracted by the beautiful celebrities, Derek Zoolander. They are not being distracted by such manipulations that lead to these nasty things, okay? That's where that person is. So what we have here is at least one person, well, not one person, the energies are um, attached to multiple beings. So we have some beings here who have been through the next phase of their liberation successfully and are now on the path to creating the lives of their preference, eliminating suffering and all that great stuff, which is amazing. Let's get some Jesus on it and then we will close out. All right, our Jesus is gonna come in threes. One. Two. Three, and then four for good measure. Your father knows what you need before you ask him. This person, just like, this is about lessons learned. Um, this person now has better foresight. Trust me, I have magical foresight. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Um, that's whoever gave the message. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. That's just, whoever gave this person the message, like even though it was painful, is coming from like, a place of peace, like, I don't want you to be in this space, like, I don't want you suffering, bro, like, I would like you to have what you want, so, you know, do this, um, if you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer, so, yeah, this person got to manifesting, this could even be, like, uh, they got onto, like, a manifestation channel, or something, and they got into it, don't let your hearts be troubled, trust in God, and trust also me, yeah, this person was able to let go, this person, whoever they are, was able to let go. They were able to see their reality, to move through it, and successfully manifest something different. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, God is good all the time. So, my traumatized babies and mentally ill Barbies, I am your GM, your eternal game master for this, the game of life. I am also the greatest magician of the age, perhaps the greatest magician of all time, very chilly magician right now. And together, you and I will perform the greatest magic trick of all time. We will shift the polarities of the world, make America great for once, shift the world, uh, fly this boat to the moon somehow, shift the world onto the mega happy timeline, leaving it a much better place than perhaps it ever was before. Because we are, my traumatized babies and mentally ill Barbies, crawling on the planet's face, some insects called the human race, lost in time and lost in space. End meeting.